Looks like I returned just in time. Just in time indeed here. It is going to be Ven versus Syrup. Uh, honestly, it's been a minute since we've actually seen Syrup. But Syrup is also a very, very strong Nest main altogether. It's it's crazy how we've seen Ven kind of all together this Wi-Fi arc. Not only consistently just be very a very strong player and a very strong threat, but also he's been improving overall in general because he's just a terror in the Vega scene offline. Vegas is, Ven is definitely arguably one of the best Zelda mains in the world. But the, the crazy thing about Ven is his, his results offline and his results online are just as strong as one another. So you can't really backtalk Ven for, you know, his results. Plus, he's, I'm not going to lie, he's a pretty aggressive and very strong setup heavy Zelda. And I feel like Zelda is one of those characters that kind of Ven complements not only in his sneaking style, but in his play style as well. Yeah, I mean, Zelda's... Uh, actually, both of these characters, in my opinion, are pretty annoying due to Zelda's... Uh, down special building the night can be very annoying but if you're if you have projectiles and are able to cancel it it's a big uh, that's a big advantage for you and also you all using that up smash to get rid of syrup's first stock though but also nest by himself like pk fire very useful move but now uh since zelda her neutral special does have that uh reflector might not might uh hinder syrup a little bit in this matchup yeah good on Ven to go for the get up attack just because you get the invincibility and you stop the yo-yo all together rough spot to be able to great the eye and then using that air dodge off the stage look at this low profile recovery and never forget that Fowler's win which is zelda's upbeat has an ending hitbox and a starting hitbox so it can be very very good for zelda it's arguably i i feel like a top three best teleport maybe arguably the best teleport of the game just because it has a starting hitbox and any hitbox and that's pretty good to have in the game altogether because that's one of Zelda's only defensive tool giving not I want to say defensive tool, but it's a very good tool for Zelda to have, is giving her a strong game plan and her weak her weak options at times. One thing that I really like is uh Zelda's side special where she brings out that uh fire is that you're able to use um it off stage, but dang that uh, that night killed Syrup. But he he uh, Ness is also a very floaty character. And also light, and yeah. it wasn't surprising that he died at 136. That's a back throw, then with no panic here, once again setting up for that low recovery. Yeah, and it's really hard too because Syrup can't necessarily react. He has to actually for Ven to get up afterwards, which you see from Syrup on the reaction there. And it's a smart play because Fowler, like I said, that second hitbox from Zelda's up B is really, really difficult to deal with, and then it'll get you off the ledge at times. So what a setup there from Ven just to try to buy some time to get on the stage, but Syrup knows I have to be more of the aggressor here. And that's kind of the thing about fighting Zelda. You do have to be, you have to play very aggressive because you can hit Knight away as long as you hit Zelda. The problem is that you have to be very precise on how you hit Zelda before Knight even gets started and make sure you're hitting Zelda and not Knight, but always know that Knight will come up behind Zelda. And that's kind of like the negative on that. Another thing that uh, I feel like Ben shouldn't have set up Knight that close. She, he, he, I mean, he was very close to stage, so like that was uh, something that I feel like was like possibly a a misinput or just a mistake on their part uh, yeah. due to that being so close, and that's why Surf was able to do that neutral air off stage. But nice using the forward to once again, like if you're really close to stage, don't use Knight because like so Zelda's recovering. As you said, has two hitboxes. If you're able to use that hitbox to defend yourself while they're like at ledge, it could possibly lead them to going off stage and you gaining stage control. Yeah, I, I do think like Ven had the right idea in process to like go for night. The reason why Ven would go for that is so he can have Syrup hold shield on stage. And it's something that Syrup has to deal with on stage and a little bit off stage with how Ven uses it. And that's why that we see Ven use Knight is the more the if you can have your opponent hold shield on ledge or walk away from the ledge when you're trying to get back on stage, it is ultimately good for you. Unfortunately, there for Van though is that Syrup understands like Knight is always going to appear from Zelda. And if you're playing aggressive and not that passive, then you don't have to worry about Knight as much. That's why you see Ven use it as a very, very heavy setup tool. You can see that Knight is gonna cover the ledge, get up there, but Ven will go for Dare to cover the jump. Even if Ven missed it, it still goes to show how Ven plans accordingly with Knight. 
Yeah, one thing that I do see is um, Ven jumping and then using Knight to at least uh let them use a, a little have a little bit of mobility to at least move away while setting up Knight. So I mean, I feel like that's really good to just keep away from their opponent. Yeah, and this is kind of crazy too because Ven kind of has an interesting history with Ness as a character. Um, him and Foe have kind of either gone very. I think Foe is definitely up on sets against Ven, but Ven definitely understands his magic because he has played Foe, one of one of arguably the best Nesses in Smash 4, but arguably what could have been one of the best Nesses in Smash Ultimate if Foe had just traveled, traveled would travel out of region more. But nonetheless, Foe is definitely a strong player in Vegas altogether, and that Ven has that matchup experience. And unfortunately, in trying to recover, once again, I felt like that was going to be a night setup situation, and that's what it looked like. And Ven instead got forward there. And I think Ven has to start evaluating, is Knight off the stage going to be good for me? Am I just going to have to opt to teleport every single time? I feel like using that neutral B is also very good to just protect yourself, like, from getting hit off stage. Like, it's also another really good tool. Oh, wow. Missing that, um... Uh... Missing that uh, the up special, I mean yeah. the teleport to use that second hip. Oh no! Oh, you, wow. Yeah, it's it, so the thing about teleports in this game is they're not all invincible all the way through. There's actually about a few frames of invulnerability where you can actually punish characters like Pelotina and Zelda for going for teleports. The window is very hard, but if you pull it off, you can punish her. Yeah, Ben right now isn't looking too good right now, sir. Possibly getting a three stock. If we if we see a three stock, I might have just uh, used the commentator. Cur yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I actually wanted to see a three stock, kind of, because I haven't seen one in on MSMO stream yet. I was I I hope not to see one just given a Ven being a Ven stand myself. I know crazy right? I can see the YouTube comments like man, somebody actually likes Zelda. But yeah, man, Ven is a very very fun Zelda to watch. Unfortunately uh, for Ven, that was a very good option from Syrup. And Syrup will move 2-0 here on, over Ven. And that was a good up smash because this time we didn't see Ven go for a get up attack. Which normally that's how Ven has been bypassing around Syrup. Rough part here is that Syrup has been catching Ven on all the types of gameplays and mat and like setups that he usually goes for when trying to come back on the stage. There was a few times where we saw Ven kind of slowly mix up the recovery on the teleport when he saw him teleport high and that was good. And even then, teleporting high is not to the best advantage ever because you can, you're so susceptible to actually being punished there.